it's hurting Tom Zerbo. He tried to get out of the saddle and the group behind are getting closer and it's hurting the Bissell rider now, but he's over the top of that one and they're just coming round the corner. It looked like a white jersey. Is George Hincapi getting close? He deserves this stage victory, does Tom Zerbo, but this group behind are getting close and they've caught him. Oh, what a shame for the Bissell rider, George Hincapi and Rory Sutherland. And he needs to try and react as Tom Zerbel try and get on the back of that group. Now two riders in the lead heading towards the finish. Well, they two seem to be the strongest in this uh, group, but uh, Zerbo just dying out there, absolutely dying out there. But uh, this is an opportunity now for George uh, Hincapi to rectify what happened in the other stage. But uh, just goes to show you that McCartney, McCartney gave it all. Creed wasted a lot of energy, and that's the reason why he's not here. What a shame for Tom Zerbel, but a gutsy, gutsy ride. And he's almost clawing his way back. And Tom Zerbel... Now on to the back of that group. And Brian, I don't think he'll have the legs for the sprint, but if he can hang on here, at least he makes the podium. Oh, he's a tremendous result. And whoever wins this stage needs to pat this guy in the back because uh, he's done a fantastic result. And, uh, you know, he has to hit, hold his head up high. And it is a good opportunity for him to get in the podium because they put the three riders up in the podium. It would be a dying shame if these riders are caught. But uh, we're still waiting for the, the stage one. And uh, both these teams have not won a stage. HealthNet haven't won a stage. High Road haven't won a stage in the years, Bissell, but uh, I think that the first two is really up to them. They can't go messing about now because uh, the last time over the line, it was one minute and five seconds back to the, the main group. So they're, they'll be drilling down uh, their necks and uh, they can't mess about too much. George Hincapi on the front, Rory Sutherland, the Aussie for HealthNet. They've got to keep the power on now. No messing around. Tom Bissell is still, and They're they've been caught. Up. Michael Creed down the left for Rock Racing, and they heading up towards the finish. Jason McCartney and Michael Creed have got back to them, and Creed did exactly the right thing, went straight down the left-hand side of the road. And this group now going to fight it out for the finish. And Creed goes again down the right. Our oh, Rock Racing going to get their stage victory here in the Tour of California. And the legs of the rest of the breakaway group, they've been out here all day. And Mike Creed, he's been uh, saving the legs. And here comes Big George. Big George, look at the power for the high road rider, dragging Jason McCartney with him. But George Hincapie glances over his shoulder, up back onto the wheel of Mike Creed. And who's going to be the next rider to go? You'd expect Rory Sutherland to try and make a move from the back. Is uh, Tom Zerbel going to go again? Well, George will know that he's got the fastest sprinter in this uh, group, but it's uh, Jason McCartney goes on the right-hand side of the road. Sutherland makes the attack, and Jason McCartney is almost on him. The red jersey, the health net Maxis rider, the big Aussie, and the power of Rory Sutherland. He looked strong yesterday, and he tried to do this, and Jason McCartney trying to get up to it. It looks like Hincapie's legs have popped. No, George, it's Big George comes round. It's the two white jerseys. My apologies for confusing me. Jason McCartney, look, he's fighting his way over the top of that climb. And George Hincapie once again makes it up to Rory Sutherland. These little, uh, the little climbs really biting into the legs. And Brian McCartney in all sorts of pain behind trying to get onto these two. Yeah, it's now or never. They have to keep it going. They are the two strongest riders in the, this group. And uh, George has got a fight against his hands. But uh, Rory Sutherland is an ally here. And if they can just keep it going all the way down into the finishing lap. And he's, he's just putting his earpiece in and uh, he will let everybody know. But uh, this, this is going to go down into the last kilometre. Jace McCartney comes now over the, over the top. And there's going to be three riders very soon in this lead. The CSC rider just trying to get on to this group. And he's almost there. You just see dropping his head, just trying to get up to George Hincapie. But Rory Sutherland, great power for the Aussie from Canberra. And Brian, this breakaway group, six foot two in uh, Rory Sutherland, Tom Zerbel, six foot four. It's a day for the big guys. It certainly is a day for the big guys, but there's no over red. Um, if this uh, break is, starts messing about and get caught, then young Cavendish, who's only about five, five foot eight, might, might win. 
Rory Sutherland, a former rider on the Rabobank team, came across to the US to ride for HealthNet Maxis. And George Hincapie goes once again. They cannot afford to mess around at all. And the Mavic neutral service car is pulled out of the gap. It's getting dark. You can just see the remnants of the breakaway group just behind here. And the, the rain and the clouds are just darkening it on certain sections of this course. Rory Suttle on the front. George Hincapie just behind him. Jason McCartney. These three riders have just got to drill it full power all the way to the line. Well, they need to go to take it up because the gap now to the main peloton is now 25 seconds. 25 seconds, that's all it is. And George Hincapie, he's throw, if, he's, if he's starting to mess around like this already, he's starting to, uh, he could throw it away for the high road once again. Well, he knows that uh, he's got uh, Cavendish in the back, so if it comes to a sprint, then Cavendish has a good chance of winning. He cannot make any mistake here. He's with uh, two other riders, and these two other riders have proven they're just as strong as he is. Sutherland on the front, Hincapie, everyone checking and they're letting Mike Creed get back up to them. We know the rock racing rider, if he gets on, he'll go straight past once again. So Rory Sutherland, Hincapie, McCartney now heading up towards the finish. Or is someone going to come? You can just see all the water spray coming off the back of the motorbike. But Sutherland checks over. Hincapie checks over his shoulder. McCartney checks over his shoulder. And here come the main field. And they are not far behind at all. And Brian, they will get this information. And some of the sprinters teams will be back up there. Yeah, they, when you look back and see that, somebody might attack. And then they have to be thinking of that because they're messing about too much. You could down to the sprint, into the last kilometre. I think they've got enough to stay away. And this is George Hincapie's best chance to bring it home for the high road. One kilometre to go. And Michael Creed goes down the left once again for rock racing. But it's a little false move. Jason McCartney goes down the centre. Hincapie reacts, as does Rory Sutherland. Creed latches onto the back. Jason McCartney for CSC winds it up. But has he gone too early? He's going to struggle to take this, Hincapie comes off the wheel, Big George, he comes through, and Rory Sutherland comes up, but George Hincapie winds up his sprint, and there's the main field right behind, Hincapie sits down, he sits up, it's a stage victory for George Hincapie, and Brian, the patience and experience as the bunch is led over by uh, Mark Cavendish, JJ and uh, JJ Hado there just sprinting it out for the minor places. But George Hincapie, nerves of steel. Uh, <laughs> a stage victory for George Hincapie and the high road. They finally get their stage. Mark Cavendish took it yesterday and was disqualified. But the celebrations can start for Levi Leipheimer and Team Astana. He takes his, he defends his title here in the Tour of California. And uh, a good start to the year for them. He shakes hands with David Miller, who he takes a second overall. Brian, sum up the Tour of California for you. Wait. <laughs> well, that's it. Brian and I have been here all week. I hope you have enjoyed the tour of California, it's been a long way, but there's, they're just uh, showing us the sprint. George Hincapie glances across at Jason McCartney and Rory Sutherland just comes around there for second place, but he had, uh, there was daylight in between George Hincapie and Rory Sutherland. There's your one, two, three, Hincapie, Sutherland and McCartney, and he sits up and takes his first victory of the year. Ahead of us next week on Cycling.TV, we start the Spring Classics. Will we see George Hincapie finally with some more freedom take a big, another big classic victory? Gem Wevelgum is his biggest classic so far. Can he step up and win one of the big ones? That's next week. This has been a tour of California. Levi Leipheimer wins overall from me, Martin McCrossan, and Brian Smith. Wherever you are in the world today, have a fantastic day and we will see you very soon.